Hey guys, it's me again, Master Halo, and today we're going to be looking at the Rubik's Cube. This thing has twisted minds all over the country, but today I'm going to be showing you how to solve it. Well, not today, but it's a part series. It's, uh... Anyway, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it eventually. So, this is the Rubik's Cube. If you never heard of it, then... Makes no sense. No offense. It's just like the Rubik's Cube is everywhere. Many people have solved it, and yeah, so I don't know how you can not hear about it, but that's your problem. Anyway, so this is part one of the series, and today what I'm going to be showing or covering is I'm, we're going to cover, cover, fun, the white face. Or we're just going to complete the white face. There's multiple steps in completing the Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to be showing the beginner's method. So first, let me talk about what the how the cube works. So, if you've never heard what an algorithm is, it's a special type of equation for the Rubik's Cube. And that's where it's like, I don't know, you... R, D, stuff like that. And that's just like a way to show, that's just a way to solve the Rubik's Cube to use algorithms. So, also another thing, I'm going to be showing you, also, you need to know what kind of faces there are. So if you hold the Rubik's Cube like this, where, like, I don't know, let's say the logo is facing in front of you, it could be in different areas, then that means that you... That, so these are the sides. F, so this is the F side. It's the front side, or F. Like, all the sides are abbreviated to their first letter of what face they are. So if you're holding it like this, this is the F face, or the front face. This is the back face, or the B face. This is the, this is the R face, or the right face. This is the L face, or the... Left face. This is the up face or the U face, and this is the down face or the D face. That's basically how it is. And no matter where you hold it, how you hold it, whenever something is facing you, that's how it works. F, B, R, L, U, and D. That's how it always works. Then there's, I'm going to show you things. Like the types of pieces there are. So there's the middle pieces, there's the edge pieces, and there's the corner pieces. Now, the middle pieces, they have one color, and even though they can turn like this, they they can't move, technically. And then you have the edge pieces, where they have two colors, and they can move in two different places. So they have two different colors. And then the corner pieces are these. They have three colors and they can move in three different places, I guess. And that, so there's the middle pieces, the edge pieces, and the corner pieces. It's easy to memorize. But you don't need to memorize them, really. So, first what we're going to do is the white cross. This is where there's a white cross right here with the logo thing. And this is the beginner's method. So, there's a white cross, and then there's matching colors, so there's an edge piece like this, like, there's an edge piece with white and orange. They, you have to put all the colors like this, where there's an, a white a edge with, um, with the corresponding color, or and like the white cross. So first of all, what you're going to have to do is, you have to find a piece, an edge piece with white, and a random color. Well, not yellow. Don't find a color with yellow. Anyway, so let's pretend it was right here, the orange piece. So, see? Right here, there's the middle piece. And you can see the white piece. And the white is supposed to go here. So the obvious thing to do is to just turn it two times, counterclockwise or clockwise. And the middle piece is right there. That's what it's supposed to look like on each side. Now, let's find a green one, I guess. Okay, wait. Okay, I found a red one. And, look, oh, look, it's 
already in the right place. So you can just turn that two times and then voila, right there. Now let's find a piece where it's not in the right place. See, here's a green piece. So you see how the green piece is right there? Whenever it's like that, you have to make it like this. You have to turn it to its correct place. And you see, it's connected. Ta-da. Now I found a blue piece with white on it. So if it's like this and you try turning it, and the corresponding color is like opposite, the right, it's in the right place, but it's just not on the right it's not in the right order, I guess. You're gonna have to do the algorithm with the um, cor with the f oh, that's it. the color on the front that you're trying to solve it for. You have to do the algorithm F U I and R and then U. Or you can do it the other way around where it's well, these are just algorithms that I use. And you have the white cross. You have to check to make sure every color is lining up and that there's a white cross. So once you have a white cross and there's these little the little lines, then you can go to the next step. So now you have to solve the white side. Now this is a little easier. So if you so we ha you have to find a white corner with uh, two different colors. So as you can see, I found a blue and orange one. You have to get that out of there and make sure it's on the ground, I guess, or bottom layer. Then you have to find where it's like um, connected. So you see how it's like blue and orange? I found an orange and blue. It doesn't matter if this is orange and this is blue. It just it has to be in like the right walls, I guess. So once you have that there, you have to do the algorithm, this algorithm multiple times until it gets here. You have to do the algorithm R, no, 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 um, R, I, and D, and then R, and then just keep on doing this algorithm where it's like this. So that's how you do it. And then you can check to see that they are connected right here. See? And then the next. Okay, so let's find another piece. So you see how it's like a red and. It's a red and green piece? See, they're opposite, but it's still okay. And see, the white's on the bottom, so you have to do the algorithm. And you could do. If you, if you have a little experience of doing the Rubik's Cube, you can always like move it like right here. It's always faster. That's what I do. And then just keep on doing that algorithm. And then voila, you have the green and red piece. Next, just find, just keep on doing it until you find the right pieces. Oops. And see right here, this is the wrong thing. It's not really connected. So you, it doesn't matter if there's a white piece, just keep on doing the algorithm. Okay, and now it's connected. As you can see, it has to look like an upside down Tetris piece, I guess. So then, there's the final piece. Green and orange and orange and green. Let's do the algorithm. And voila, you have a white side. And you have all these upside down Tetris pieces that, look, that are the same color. And if you have that, then you can go on to the next step, but this is the end of part one. Now I'll have part two, and don't worry, I'll have part two. So anyway, comment, subscribe, like, share, and I know this is somewhat of a quick video, but I just have all these parts. And if you practice enough, you should be able, well, first of all, you have to practice this, obviously. And so, well, okay, um, I don't know what to say, just, you have to memorize all these algorithms now. If you go to the Rubik's Cube website, there's a thing called the Solution Guide, and it's more detailed. It's on. It's also, you can print it out. And don't worry, it's virus-free. It's on the Rubik's website. So just find how to solve the Rubik's Cube on the website. Just type in rubiks.com, and you can find the Solution Guide. But these are just my algorithms that I use. So, comment, subscribe, like, share. 
and I will see you guys next time.